I'm Juan from Spain, born and raised in there. My whole family is from Argentina. Back there in Spain, I'm a junior. My major is marketing. Uh, I've been here for one semester. And I decided to come here because of the opportunities and the prestige that American universities have in Spain. I studied abroad in Brazil for my senior year of high school. Uh, I was there for a year and I wanted to study abroad because I wanted a change in my life. I went abroad twice. The first time I went abroad for a short summer program in China. Half of that program was in Beijing and half of that was in Shanghai. And then I was abroad last semester for about six months at Tilburg University in the Netherlands. My name is Lalani Damini and my majors are computer science and math and I'm from South Africa. My name is Clara Chi, but my real like Chinese name is Inji. I'm Aziz Al Said, I'm from Saudi Arabia and I'm an accounting major. I'm Andre, I'm a sophomore, uh, my major here is sports communication. I'm Juliana Valencia, I'm an international relations and political science major. I joke around with my friends being like, after 10, my English is like, I switched off, like, don't even try because it's not going to work. Like, English is my first language because it is so hard. Like, I was, I went to a couple English schools uh, while I was there to, like, help people learn English. It is a really hard language, I didn't realize. I came here with no English at all, so it was, like, tough to learn, a, like, a new language at, uh, like, 14 years old. I mean, I was I was still young, but it's just you know, it's like a different language. Well, like before I come to America, one of the thing I was worried about is like the schoolwork. I couldn't. Maybe I don't understand the text. Maybe I won't understand the questions. I cannot express my thoughts so well. Like I cannot make my point so understandable. So like put it out there so easily, and it's frustrating because I think I have all these ideas, but I cannot put them. Uh, they would ask me questions like, if I say something wrong, like, you know, grammatically, so I use the wrong word, please just point it out. And I thought that was, a, it, was felt something, it was something I felt uncomfortable with first, because it was you know, just correcting my peers. It's definitely hard to learn another language, but it makes you grateful when you do. And I have a full conversation with someone in another language, which is such a wow experience, like, wow, I did this. Growing up in Central America, the U.S. is kind of this idolized like perfect country. Uh, the perceptions were like they are very different from the ones I have now. Uh, I had like um, a tourist perspective of the United States. You come here and actually see everything like I came here during summer so it's not the same thing but actually living here you can see everything it's just it's weird seeing how things actually work. I watched a lot of movies back in Saudi Arabia like in the U.S. like they were filmed in the U.S. and I've had the idea of the U.S. being like I don't know, being like a lot of cops, I guess, uh, a lot of like in investigations and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, it changed a lot. I mean, it's just like, especially here at High Point, uh, it's a very close family. Uh, pretty much like I feel at home sometimes, even though like I'm far from my family. When we fly, like not the American way of fly, but like how Americans live in like most part of the United States, it's like it changed a lot. When I sat on the plane alone, like I sat on the plane like with two strangers by my side and like I was alone. And I was talking to my parents on the phone and I said like, what am I doing? Like When I get off the plane and trying to, you know, cross the border, like go through the security, um, that moment because everyone started talking, to in talking English to me and the race, you know, definitely looked different. So I'm like the minority there. So I feel like that was the moment. <laughs> My father was diagnosed with cancer a month ago. I was definitely shocked by how like people were so um, like taken aback that I was from a different country and kind of like felt that they couldn't like relate to that. And that's something that was like completely different from where I'm from, where people are like very accepting to people and like who are different from them and stuff like that. As I was so far from him, I was kind of uh, the distance made me a little bit stronger, I think, because I wasn't directly with him, but it was pretty tough. Uh, Saudi Arabian friends are a lot closer. In China, the way people talk is like a heightened and they're not straight to the point. 
something like you know talk something around and then yeah so like in America、uh, people just get to the point and then they want you to be you know just be honest and sometimes it's hard for like me from another culture to do it. I think the most important thing about studying abroad is that it does get you out of your shell. It does put you in new environments. In、uh, being more independent, because here I'm not like depending on my parents or depending on somebody else. Like I get my stuff done by myself.、Uh, I learn time management. Open your mind, like to broaden your views and to see the, the possibility of the world. If I only stay in one environment, I will never know the possibilities that are there in the world.